bed nice and quiet. Gianna, what is this? I don't know. Look at it, please. Well, I'll It's my your... Bessem oil. What? I didn't take it. I found it in your chamber, dear. Yeah. Well, maybe it just... Okay, so I took it. Arrest Look, me. Look, Gianna, when we agreed to let you stay on Laura, you, you oh, promised sorry. to adapt to our ways. I've changed my mind. You adapt to me. Yeah, it's always the same here, Dad. Nice and quiet. It's late. No. It's space. I don't really know what time it is. It's, uh... I miss the sun. Days. Nights. Simple things. Anyway, I, um... <clears throat> I want to tell you about this thing. I'm uh, holding it right now. It's it's my first gray hair. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mention it. It's just uh, afraid I might be growing old out here. John Crichton, you'd better get up here. Why have the engine stopped? Okay, pilot, I'm here. What's the problem this time? Moya hasn't sensed anything like this since the day you arrived. Pilot, how long has that been there? It just appeared on my scanners. But it's already breaking apart. Stability's down to 80%. What are you up to, Crichton? Right, do you see this? Do you see this? What is that? That is a pathetic little waste funnel which I care little about. We're supposed to be on our way to the Commerce Planet, where I believe they have Hynerian modules. Mm -hmm. Is he the captain? Because if he is not the captain, then how does he get Th to stop That him? is a worm. Yeah, yeah, now restart the engines, if you please. What if I wanted to stop the ship? Crichton, look at this. Oh, my God. What? It's just a tiny blue planet. What are you getting so worked up about? Oh, it's got no particle rings, no red moons. It's totally unimpressive. That's Earth. It's my home. My name is John Crichton, an astronaut of Radiation Wavehead, and I got shot through a wormhole. I'm lost in some distant part of the universe on a ship, a living ship, full of strange alien life forms. Help me. Listen, please. Is there anybody out there who can hear me? I'm being hunted by an insane military commander and everything I can. I'm just looking for a way home. says we're running out of time. I can't go with you. Aaron, this could be our only chance. No, this is your only chance. I'm not certain I'll belong there. You would. You will. I, I promise. I'm sorry. Crichton, wormhole stability down to 57%. I'm on my way. That wormhole could blast you out anywhere. I know. Pilot says it's unsafe and it could... It could kill me, Zan, I know. You've given me every good reason not to go. I could end up dead. I could end up more lost than I already am. You've given me every single thing except one. What? This could be Earth. This is the way I got here, through a wormhole. It could be my way home. I gotta do this, Zan. Look, however this works out, this could be goodbye. And uh, I know that you uh, didn't expect me to be here. But thanks. You saved my life. All of you. Crichton, stability down to 48%. Yeah, I'm going, pilot. <laughs> Oh, 
Goodbye, big guy. I am. Uh, hope you get your chance one day. You go see your son. I hope so, too. Goodbye. John Crichton, remember, there's a part of me inside you. Take care of it. I will. Sparky. What? Well, I'm not taking my stuff. Mm hmm So I thought I'd give it to somebody. Mm hmm To Aaron. No. No, you can't do it. <laughs> Hi. Stability. I am doing this as fast as I can, pilot. You're almost at entry vector. Just a little more. Now. Go now, Crichton. Entry angle confirmed. Go! What's the matter with him? Just go, you lucky propacto. Go. Crichton. Yeah, Dargo. I understand the fear. But if you don't do this now, you will regret it forever. You must go now. Do it, John. 34%. Thanks, big guy. Pilot, are you reading anything from him? He's off my senses. He's gone. I know this is this is gonna sound insane, but this is Australia, right? What?
go again. So why did you land in Australia? I didn't land. I crashed. And what is your mission here? What are you talking about? I don't have a mission. Have you been here before? I'm John Crichton. You know that, Wilson. What, you, you, you think I'm an alien? <laughs> Have you been here before? Australia. Yeah, three times. You were here with me last year when I tested the Farscape's engines, Wilson. So what the hell is going on? I didn't think i I didn't think I'm Mohammed Sam. I'm pissing coffee. See, see, ah, see, see, I'm pissing coffee. This is the twelfth guy, Wilson. How many more are you gonna roll in here before you believe these are translator microbes in my head and not some space virus? What did he say? Well, I think he said that until he gets some answers, he's not gonna play anymore. Hey, Carl, when am I getting out of here? I don't know. Can I get a newspaper? Oh, come on, Cobb. When am I gonna find out? I mean, look, I've been away for, what you say, seven months? I just want to know what's happened, something since I've been gone. Who won the Super Bowl, Cobb? I don't know. Huh. I know you're Australian, Cobb, but you gotta know who won the Super Bowl. You know who Ty Cobb is? Cobb? No, how about, how about Babe Ruth? You know who Babe Ruth is? Some fat guy that played for the Yankees. Good. Fat guy. At least you know something. You're kidding me. This is how he described them. I'm sorry, sir. There's no access. Stop, sir. Out of this my is way. a restricted area, sir. Back off, soldier. Kill that switch. Dad! I've waited two days. I want to see him. I want to see my son now. Jack, that's what we're trying to determine, whether it is your son. What have you done to him? He's got foreign microbes in his brain stem. And the Farscape module has been modified by non-human technology. You know how this works, Colonel. Once we confirm John poses no threat, then you can see him. I don't buy that. I want to see him now. Dad, get me out of here, please. I need to ask you some questions. What happened on your 10th birthday? What? 10th birthday? I don't know. I can't remember. We were living in Annapolis. Annapolis. Right. You were late. Again. You said... You said they held you at Houston for tests. You missed your flight. But you commandeered a jet, you came anyway. I woke you up at 4 o'clock in the morning. You took me fishing. I swear as mill. You got the biggest damn bass I'd ever seen. It was a trout, Dad. It 
was a trout. My nasty son. What's going on? I know recovery procedure as well as anyone. This is way beyond routine. Nothing's been routine since the day you left seven months ago. That wormhole you went through is still there. You open the door, son. Door to Earth, we don't know how to close. Get me out of here. I will. I don't buy this, Dad. What? Wilson. Letting me out. There's no way he'd let me out of his sight if what you say is true. You know Wilson? Yep. No cop, too. He hasn't let you out of his sight, sir. See that van in the parking lot? Those two women to our right. The one in the red with the headphones, you know, and sunning herself on the rocks. Yeah, yeah, I see them. They're watching us. They like to get real close. Listen, a global alliance has been set up to track the wormhole. Ray Wilson's been put in charge by the Pentagon. What the hell does he want from me? He wants you to relax so that I can tell whether or not you're really my son. And he wants to know everything you know about the wormhole, everything you saw on the other side. Oh, give me a break, Dad. I'll tell him everything. You know that. I know that. I kept that safe for you. Don't know if it brought me luck, but it saved my ass. You know, when you disappeared in Farscape 1, I had to deal with the possibility that you might not be alive. Well, now you know. Now you know how I felt as a kid every time you went on a mission. Come on, son. We got a lot of work to do. They have worlds out there, people out there that you wouldn't believe, but they do not have chocolate. Hang on a second. Hey, no, don't do it like that. It's a propulsion fin. It's part of the hex drive, OK? Yes, sir. Deja vu. Have we met? Yes, sir, last year in the Simpson Desert, uh, when you were down there for the shuttle tests. You are with Cobb, right? Yes, sir. Well, it's, um, it's good to see you again. Sir. What's going on? Stratcom from Sector 3, sir. Something else has come through the wormhole. Bring him! <sighs> what do we got? There's an unidentified ship tracking in on the same trajectory as the Farscape module. F-16s are scrambling for a visual. Are they here for you? What? Are they here to save you? I don't... Who is it? <laughs> Who is that? Look, I can't see. Well, Who is it? Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know. I can't see them. F-16's locked and ready. Wait. That's Moya's transport pod. Tell them not to fire. Are they here to attack us? No, they're not here to harm us, Wilson. Just tell them not to fire. That's not my call, Grutton. Tell them, Wilson, they don't have any weapons on board the transport. Tell them not to fire. Tell them not to fire. After you left, your Earth disappeared through the wormhole. It was her idea to see what was going on. What are they on. saying, Crichton? It's not bad to give a party to Quemper. Don't have a reason to write it for Quemper. We are 
You okay? No. I'm frilling sick. What are they saying? <laughs> they're scared, Wilson. That's what they're saying. I'm not scared. I'm sick. What the yachts did you give me? Son, are you okay in there? I'm fine. <clears throat> it's the tranquilizer, Rigel. That's, that's what's making you sick. It'll wear off soon. You're gonna be okay. But I'm named Nobody, name it they're freaking out. You're an alien and... They're freaking out. I vowed I would never be taken prisoner again. You're not a prisoner. Trust me. I'm gonna take care of you guys. Crichton. I feel frilling terrible. Yeah, I'm gonna get someone in here for you, Roger. What's going on? What's taking so long? Relax. And do what, Dad? We read a magazine, they're all seven months old, Dad. They don't want me to have any idea what's going on. If what you say about those aliens is true, they can help us unlock the universe. You're positive they're not here to harm us? No. They came looking for me. They were worried. You trust them? A lot more than I trust Wilson. I like them, Dad. They're my friends. Sir, we need you in the medical unit. What's the matter? I think you should see this. waiting for this moment. We sent Voyager, we left damn greeting cards on the moon, and as soon as they get here, look at what you're doing. They can help us. Just take a step back, and you look at what you're doing. You think about it. Don't worry, I've thought of everything, Commander. You make me sick. Official word is, Rigel died from allergic reaction to the tranquilizer. What do you think happened? It doesn't matter what I think, Dargo. No. I think they killed him. You know that those animals killed him. And then they cut him open. They said they were just trying to restart his heart. They were studying him. Like an animal. Like an alien. Which one of us do you think they'll kill next, Crichton? Dargo, it... It's not gonna go down like that. Look, I know that you have no reason to trust me. You're them. right, I don't trust you. But you tell those humans that when they come for me, I'll kill them. Dargo, don't. We've tried it your way and one of us is dead. Go. Peacekeepers wouldn't even kill their prisoners to study them. Dargo's might. Just go.
gave him my word, Dad. I told him I'd take care of him. You were naive to think you could protect them from people like Wilson. I need a favor, Dad. Name it. I want you to call in every marker that you have, every general, every undersecretary, every Pentagon mistress. You tell them what's going on here, and you get them to stop it. What are you going to do, son? I'm just going to plead with Wilson. I'm going to beg for their lives. No, no, I know that look, John. You be careful. I'm just going to make him understand, Dad. Son, are you willing to die for those creatures in there? I gave my word. They took Dargo somewhere. When the guard came back for me, I was ready for him. Where'd they take him? I don't know, but I'm not waiting for them to come back. All right, then. Let's move. Hey, Cobb. You find out who won the Super Bowl yet? What do you want, Crichton? What is she doing here? What did she say? She says she wants to shoot your cop. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I figure since you pushed us this far, it doesn't really matter, does it? Where's Dargo? They flew him to another base. He's gone, Crichton. You can't save him. You don't have been reason. You're wrong in what you're doing there, Cobb. You're wrong. You're not gonna shoot me, are you? <laughs> Why this place? My dad and I stayed here last year. He said we could use it as a safe house. Your father told you about this place? Yeah. Crichton, he is with them. This is the first place they will look for us. I don't think so. I trust him. Ladies first.
So what's this? It's beer. Alcohol. Trust me, it's just what we need right now. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Uh, you like it? Yes. It's like Philip Nectar. Philip's a creature on Tarsus, and they get the nectar from... Aaron, please. Don't. Tell me where it comes from. Just drink the beer. Sorry. What for? Everything. What's happened here? Getting you stuck on Moya. And if it wasn't for me, you'd still be the happy little peacekeeper dominating the lesser races. Mm. Got a lot to blame you for, Croyne. Look at that. What? That's it. Earth. Minus the sunshine. You know, you were right. It's actually very beautiful. Were you scared to join me when I left Moya? Yes. I won't be recaptured, Croydon. They will have to kill me if they come to take me tomorrow. I know. Get out of bed, John. Uh, morning. Come on, I've worked out that plan we talked about. <clears throat> um, about last night. Yes, it's fine, John. It's just not top priority right now. I've gone through all of these pictures and I've found a few places that seem to be uninhabited enough to hide in. Aaron. You're right. We, um, we have to find a place to hide. Let's go. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere dressed like that. Are you sure about this? You look fine. But we got... My father. I knew it. He's betrayed us. There'll be soldiers outside. No, he won't. I trust him. I don't. Are you okay, son? Yeah. Remember Aaron soon? We actually never met. Nyatsi. <laughs> What's she saying? He doesn't have a gun. Nyatsi. <laughs> I'm not gonna search him. Is she ever gonna put that down? I don't think so. What are you doing here? Does Wilson know you're here? No. It's not going to take them long to start searching places we've been before. Did you talk to anybody for us? Everybody. No one's going to help us, son. It's too dangerous. And what about you? I don't matter in this. Official word is that these aliens never existed. Dargo's on his way to a military base in Utah, and the warehouse has been swept clean. <laughs> you're so you're... Back off. Please. Listen, the 
Two of you have to get out of town. You've got to find someplace that's safe. I'll hold them off here as long as I can. No. No, I don't want you to cover for me. This is the only place, huh? You're in this too deep. They're not going to let you just walk away. Look, at least this time I get to say goodbye. Uh, well, um, we'll hold up somewhere and I'll, uh, I'll contact you. No. If I know anything, they'll try to make me tell them. You just go. Goodbye, Dad. Thank you, Hanson. Why is everyone looking at me? It's because they think you look good. What? That girl. She was on the beach the other day. When I crash landed, that one. So? I think I know her, I think. We went to high school together. It was only for a couple of weeks and we never talked, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, she looks familiar. <laughs> Hi, can I help you, mate? They're all seven months old. Why are they all seven months old? John, stop it. I've seen all these before. They're from when I left. What are you doing, John? I know you, don't I? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're the guy on the beach the other day. Shh, just keep your voice don't down. Me. I used to ride my bike. Past your house in the fifth grade. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never seen you before in my life. Everybody here, Aaron, I know them all. I know Wilson. I know Cobb. I know you. John, stop it. Keep your voice down. What are you doing? I know everyone. Get away from me, Aaron. Get away. Back off. Every place I've been, I've been there before. Every place. Frank Kakonis, I dated your sister. Here we go. <laughs> this is exactly the way I remember it. I know all you guys, don't I? It's a little out of context. But I know you. How the hell you been? Quit. What the hell are you doing here? Yeah, I've been here. <laughs> been in there. Nothing new. But I've never been in there. Stop! Make me. You're not gonna shoot. You're not even Wilson. Where's the female alien? I'm going to talk to the man in charge, and we both know it ain't you. Who are you? You did well, John. Most species don't do as well. What is all this? 
Everything here is a physical creation from your memory. But you're not real. Well, I'm not your father. And what about my friends? They're real, living matter. They were investigating the wormhole we'd created from your memory. So we decided to use them in our trial. Right. Enough is enough. Dargo! Get us back home. Ra Rigel! They didn't kill you. Kill me? <laughs> These people treated me splendidly! They gave me modules, Crichton! Oh, lovely Hyperion modules! <laughs> Whoever you are, I thank you! Of course we didn't kill him. We created his corpse. Why? Why would you make me think that he was dead? We needed a human reaction, John. Your reaction. You made me think you were my father! I'm sorry. In the trial to have value, you had to believe everything. Let me show you. We anywhere near Earth? Actually, we're not far from Moya. We brought you here to recreate your memory. Well, if you can make all this, why not just make a wormhole to take you to Earth? That would use all our remaining power. We only have enough left to transport our race one last time. We had to be certain of how we'd be received. Spaces without boundaries. There are but a few planets where we can live. So you're looking to take over someone else's? Not take over. Cohabitate. To replenish our hive. The ancients have stories of a world that will welcome us. We can only hope they're true. You can move closer. Thanks. Close enough. We had to find out whether humans would welcome us or fight us. You stole my memories. I'm sorry to have taken this form. But I thought the best spy would be a father, as seen through his son's eyes. You stole my memories. We had no choice. Show me what you really look like. Many of us hoped that Earth might be our welcoming place. If all people were like you, maybe it could be. But they're not. In your memory, we saw millions of Wilsons and Cobbs. It also led us to a familiar conclusion. Which ones? That the highest life form on the planet is also the most destructive. Your humans would kill us. So 
So what will you do now? What we've done since before I was hatched. We continue searching for a home. So will I. Here. Maybe we'll meet again one day, John. <laughs>